Hello. Three years ago, two of my friends approached me and said, we've been doing this consultancy for 20 years, looking into organisations and how they collaborate. They were doing surveys, they were employed by big agencies, big groups like BHP Billiton when they did their merger. Marius Klopp has said, we don't want to get rid of the people who have the knowledge, we want to know who those people are. They did informal networking uh, in terms of mapping all the networks. They derived 30 measures of how you measure organisational behaviour around collaboration, so they made sure the most collaborative people were kept. So when they came to me, they said, we want to create a company that then looks on the data that uh, um, basically platforms in enterprises now, like Yammer, the workplaces, uh, uh, workplace by Facebook, uh, provide data so we can actually look into the organisations and see how they're collaborating. So we built that uh, in the first year. Uh, we sold it to four companies in the first year. We've got Qantas, we've got uh, BHP, we've got uh, a whole lot of different uh, like major companies now on board. Uh, Westpac was our best, so Westpac adopted it, drove the, uh, the whole requirements, and then we created Swoop Analytics. So really looking into organisations with data gives you some very big deep, deep insights if you know what that data means. So Swoop, uh, right now we've moved into this new category around analytics, so we work basically with Microsoft and Facebook directly to their customers which is a really big thing for us because we don't have any salespeople. When we set up in that first year, we went and saw the Atlassian boys and said, what do you reckon? And they said, do not employ one salesperson. And by the way, here's all my, as Scott Clark like, here's my uh, pricing strategies. They'll be the most important to you. So we took those, we kept going. So we created um, really what, we didn't know what we had. And then what emerged was we were, we were allowing people within the organizations to um, be like a Fitbit, gives you a bit of a test of how you're going in terms of collaboration. And uh, we, we actually um, discovered some, some amazing things, enterprise-wide um, metrics that give us, like I'll give you a deep insight, um, why are conversations up 20% between HR and legal this month, the CEO asks, looking at it. Do we have problems with our employment contracts? That's a very interesting metric. Um, so we look at group metrics, uh, everyone has a dashboard. Now the thing about this kind of technology is when we're developing it and, and with the founders I, um, I said to them, there's a big ethical component um, according to our first speaker around how you, how you manage this data inside organisations and how you let people access it. We didn't want anyone recriminating staff and people around uh, collaboration metrics. So we went to the St. James Ethics Centre and said, right, we want to build an ethical framework, and we sell that with the licences to the organisations. They have to subscribe to that. So it's been very rewarding seeing this rolled out with that kind of privacy and, and consideration in, in, in place. What we found, looking at the data, was that there were five distinctive collaboration patterns, uh, personas, and very distinctive. They share some common attributes, but the, the one that everyone wants to be is the engager. And the engager has a kind of a, a work pattern where they instigate roughly 50% of their conversations and they respond to about 50% in terms of the balance. Uh, they also respond within 24 hours to 80% of their correspondence. Uh, their networks are outside and inside their group and their organisation. So they're very well contacted. Every work group needs one of those. So when you look at the, the composition, which we have now the world's greatest database around this, it's a benchmarking study we put out every year. It's got 120 odd major organisations that contribute to that, and we look across sectors what the composition of teams are in terms of collaboration uh, composition. So, uh, yeah, this is the team. Laurie's our chief scientist. Uh, he's uh, doing a circuit. We've got Stanford research going on this. We've got Sydney University research. We're looking at new signals in the data. Uh, the company has moved so fast. We've got an uh, uh, amazing network of people um, just doing great stuff and looking at our channel, uh, thinking about the 24-7 paradigm. At any time of the day, I can look through our Yammer channel for our Yammer customers and our Facebook workplace channel for our workplace customers. We're in their business. We can see the amount of volume of interest and interaction that's going on with our networks. And it's an ecosystem that just runs 24-7. It's a very rewarding thing to be involved with. It's such a fast company. We're making you know, millions of dollars. Um, in, you know, in the third year, it's pretty good for a software company. Uh, but the key is where we're agile. And so me in Canberra, Laurie and that in the North Coast and Sydney, and we've got Marianne, uh, she's in Sydney as well, but then we've got Seattle uh, with our comms manager, we've got London, we've got uh, Mexico, uh, we're going to New York, so we're opening up 
basically micro offices that just attend events and network. That's a very good model for, for business. Uh, so I'll leave it with that.